This game is T and is not suitable for kids. Alright folks, welcome to the final episode of Clannad. We've gotten locked in the shed with every possible person except one. We still need to get locked in with best girl, Tomoyo. <laughs> That's exactly what we're going to do today. <laughs> And because this is the last video, A, I'm hoping that this makes 200 videos. If we could get an even 200 in the Clannad, uh, <laughs> let's, play, let's play, even though I streamed it, then that would be fantastic. It would just be such a nice big round number. If we can't, then that's fine. But also, because this is the grand finale, I hope that this ends up being a great final episode. I hope it's a nice, cool, interesting scene between us and Tomoyo in the shed, rather than uh, just being, like, rather unremarkable. Because that would be kind of a weak way to end things. Alright, we have to go with Sunohara. He needs to get, start getting beaten up. Uh, yeah, we'll go and watch. Why not? Okay, again! Hang on. That time, he, get, he got his face dented in. So, if we stay in the classroom here, will he get dented in regardless? Sunohara leaves the classroom in high spirits. He came back. I didn't say I would, did I? You'll tell me all about it later, right? Ah. Uh. Alright, and we talk to her. Will he get his face dented in regardless? Sonohara returns right before class starts. That was fast. No, he doesn't. That's so weird. Now, if we go back and go and watch again... Now, at this point, will he actually get his face dented in? Okay, so he does get his... That's so weird. He gets his face dented in if we follow him, but not here. Okay, so this time we're going to do nothing, and hopefully he gets his face dented in a second time and comes back. Sonohara leaves the classroom with obvious excitement. He comes back. I didn't say I would, did I? What do I look like to you, goldfish poop? I'll let you, I'll let you tell me about it later. Once again, he leaves the classroom. Alright, hi, Ryo. Chima runs off. Sunohara returns right before class starts. That was fast. <laughs> Who are you? Are you Sunohara? <laughs> Whoops, I forgot. I we are <laughs> I forgot. We skipped we declined to follow him last time. I wanna see Tomoyo personally dent his face a second time, so we're gonna follow him. Sinohara leaves the classroom with obvious excitement. Well, he has come this far. I guess I'll go with him. I begin to follow behind him. Hmm? Whatever. I forgot how stupid he was. <laughs> there we go. Are you Sunohara? Well, no, it's because you kind of look like someone else. I still have no idea why the heck that happens. I, I truly don't. <laughs> Alright, now we have to follow him. Alright. <laughs> How was it, Okazaki? More importantly, why don't you go to a hospital already? <laughs> and by the way, it was soft and warm, the real deal. 
女だと分かって悔しがってるのか自分の男として悔しがってるのかよく分かんねえ<笑> That's not what you should be worrying about right now though Yawn Alright l um We'll skip class Follow her after her Uh oh wait Do you want to eat lunch? Uh no I'll pass Following her glance, I noticed that there are two pairs of chopsticks on the lid of the lunchbox. One pair has a childish vermilion liqueur, and the other is longer and has a black liqueur. Are those for me? She nods again. To her, this act of kindness probably doesn't mean anything. Whew. I think of the hill in front of the school for some reason. Being deeply involved with someone is like shouldering unnecessary baggage. The slope you want to avoid will seem even steeper. Thinking this way, I guess we haven't changed. I haven't changed at all. I'll pass. I know she wants to respond after I say that. See ya. I pay her no mind and leave the library. Oh, poor Kotomi. Alright, l we'll waste time inside of school. We'll sleep. We'll just leave. We'll watch as Misai leaves. Alright, on the 18th, we're gonna accept. Kick him back. We don't actually have to do that, but we are going to do it anyways. As soon as you're going to have your fortune read. All right, we're going to go to sleep. We meet her in the reference room. Talk to her a little bit more. Uh, we're going to go to sleep. We're going to help Tomoyo. We have to do that. It、uh, doesn't matter what we do here, I'll let him go. School building, go to the reference room. Doesn't matter. We'll ignore the guy.、Uh, we'll wake up like a good student. Go with Sunohara. Oh, yes. This seems to be a new option. Say, okay, so he's acting.、Uh, I'll let you choose Tomoyo. Oh, let's go for Tomoyo. Oh, we've act we actually we've already seen this. Whoops. Alright. We're gonna go here. We're gonna try the spell ourselves. And we meet Tomoyo. Oh, we had already seen that before? Cool. We are not going to talk to her. Do it. Give it a try. Alright, Tomoyo. Yeah, right. Tomoyo is perfect. She would just blow the door away with her kick. Everything would be over in a flash. Ka ching! The instant I think of that, the coins collapse on the table. Oh, if, 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 she, if it literally is just she kicks the door open, then that'll be very boring. But also, she probably wouldn't because she'd be a good school property. I can't do that. It's a pity, but I'll escape right away and return here.、Huh? ううね、exactly what I said. Anyway, I've arrived at the shed just in case. She's supposed to appear here for some reason. I wonder what the chance of that actually happening is. I hope whoever sold their soul to make that spell book is happy. Seriously? So, am I going to be locked up with her? Just what would it take for that to happen? It's impossible. Eh? She throws her arms around me and pushes me down to the floor. Oh, she saves us from the line drive. Rumble crash. Following a big noise, we're now lying down in the ground inside the shed. Oh, thanks, Tomoyo! So, someone really did sell their soul. The door must have swung closed. It's pitch black inside. And Tomoyo is still on top of me. So the crisis is over, right? Her voice is right next to my ear. Then why are you still on top of me? Oh my gosh, is this going to be just the exact same as the Nagisa situation, but like <laughs> with us and Tomoyo? Is this going to be even more lewd? Why? That's it? It should be a piece of cake for you to push it back and stand up. 
Just as she says that, she lets out a groan. Did you get hurt somewhere? Mm. Oh no. Is that why you can't move now? Mm. This must be the devil's doing after all. Are you okay? Mm. The two of us can only keep lying on top of one another in the dark. Actually, due to the weight of her, on her back, our embrace has gotten so tight that it's to the point of being uncomfortable. This is all my fault. Ah, oh, now's not the time for self-loathing. I have to do something. So, then I'll try to move. But in this position, I can't put any strength into my limbs. Even so, I somehow managed to force my knees up and push against the ground with my heels. Rub. I can feel my knees trailing against the softest vein ever. <laughs> Tomio lets out a deep sigh. I'm going to move again. <laughs> Rub. Balm. My head just hit something hard. <laughs> yeah. But there doesn't seem to be any way to slip out from the top. <laughs> this time I'll try to go from the bottom. <laughs> Rub. <sighs> No good! It's too hard to move this way. So now we're back to being in our beginning position. <sighs> Sweat starts to form at the points where our bodies are touching. Those parts of us feel twice as hot. No matter where I turn my head, I can't help sniffing Tomoyo's hair every time I take a breath. Even the slightest thought of her is going to transfer more heat to my lower body. But I can't afford to let any funny physiological phenomena happen now. Ugh. No. The one just now is different. Huh? How about you? Idiot. As if I could do something like that. First you saved me from that ball, and now you want to be under this mess alone? Dragging you out of here? That's just too much. It's not horrible. In fact, it's not bad at all. Yeah. That's why you don't have to do anything reckless. Aww. Along with her whisper, her warm breath softly touches my ear. My heart is beating louder and louder. If the spell yesterday was really effective, doesn't that mean she likes me? No, Okazaki. If it goes on like this, I'm going to... No, this is bad. Not to mention the situation is just something arranged by that spell. Okazaki wa... no koto... Sono... This is not fair. Not good at all. I rack my brain trying to think of a way to get out of here. Ah! That's right. Before coming here, I heard from Miyazawa about a method to neutralize the spell. We're about to get on the Tomoyo route, though! What did she say again? I try to remember her words. We've already seen this. Right. First, I have to let my ass out. Please excuse me. I slip my hands in between our con con contacting stomachs and undo my pants' button. Then, with both of my hands, I pull my pants down a little by little. Okazaki. <laughs> Wow! Everyone's so receptive to this in the shed. What? Curses are just kappa farts? <laughs> oh no. This could have gone in such a better way, though. <laughs> no! You're, you're screwing up everything, Tomoya. But it's the most important thing right now. <laughs> Curses are just kappa farts. Curses are just kappa farts. Curses are just kappa farts. <laughs> I chant the phrase in my heart three times. Immediately after, alone with the sound of an opening door, the sunlight makes its way into the shed. The curse has been broken. Oi! The track and field club comes to our rescue. What's wrong? Why is your face so red? She wanted. She wanted to date us. <laughs> Oh, that's a shame that this was on the Yukine route. This easily could have been the start of an alternate Tomoyo route. Huh? Is your shoulder okay? She rotates her shoulder a few times. Oh, 
Yeah, I believe you. Most of all, it was my fault that we got stuck in there. No, I was hoping for something slightly better. Yeah, I've come to know the frightening power of curses. Get close would be a bit too innocent to describe that, with all that touching and whatnot. Well, um, that was an interesting way to end going on. <laughs> Honestly, I kind of wish I ended with the Akio getting locked in, because that was probably my favorite. Getting locked in with Akio was my favorite, because that gave Tomoya a completely wrong impression of her dad. It was so good. Well, wow, that's that's everything for Clonod. I feel like I literally did everything I could possibly could in this massive doorstopper of a visual novel. <laughs> Holy cow, it was amazing. Thank you all to everybody so much who joined in, especially those of you who watched every episode. Like, what the heck? You, you're the real all-star. Coming up next, I will be playing Fruit of Grisea. So, that's apparently another very, very long visual novel, and it's also apparently very, very good. So, hopefully that'll go well. Hope you guys tune in for more content from me. Thank you again from the bottom of my, of my heart for taking an interest in this series. I know that this game will be very near and dear to my heart. Anyhow, have a great day, and may God bless you wherever you are.